Hi everyone, Dr. Dave Hansen here with a short video explaining why some kids get chronic ear infections and others don't. Well, to start off, we should clarify that ear infections may be common, but that doesn't make them normal. So why does your child keep getting ear infections? Well, it's not because they keep walking through random clouds of bacteria. It's because fluid is accumulating in the ear, which inflames the tissue, uh, and providing the perfect environment for a virus or bacteria to set up shop, which is stagnant fluid. So why? Why aren't their ears draining? Well, if you take a bite of food, it doesn't just drop into your stomach from gravity. Your esophagus is a muscle that milks the food down. That's why you can swallow even if you're standing on your head. And it's the same process in your ear. There's a muscle called the tensor veli palatini that is the key to all of this. Its job is to milk fluid out of your ears so it can drain down your throat. In kids that get chronic ear infections, the tensor veli pini muscle is spasmed and doesn't let fluid through the eustachian tube. So the question is, why would the tensor valley pentatini muscle be in spasm? Well, 9 out of 10 times we can trace it back to the birth process. The tensor valley palatini muscle gets its nerve from the supply from the very top part of your neck, which is also the most vulnerable part of a baby during the birth process, especially if there was a forceps, vacuum extraction, or a C-section where there's a tremendous amount of pressure that is put on a child's neck. So what happens is the nerves to the tensor valley pini muscles gets irritated, and it stops working. The fluid doesn't drain and the kid gets an ear infection. So the question is can an antibiotic help that fluid drain? No. And does drilling a hole through there really seem like the best solution? Of course not. And that's why the American Academy of Pediatrics and countless other medical research articles have said for decades to not give antibiotics to kids with ear infections because not only do they not help, they significantly increase the risk of getting a future ear infection as well as allergies and asthma as well. In fact, they'll tell you that the best recommendation they could make is doing nothing. So what can you do? Well, the number one thing is to get the tensor valley pedatini muscle working again and that's where chiropractic comes in. With gentle and specific adjustments, we can get the kink out of the kid's neck, which restores the nerve supply to the tensor valley palatini muscle, and the ears will start to drain. We see this every day. Ear infections is one of my favorite things to work with with kids. But the great news is, uh, it's a very easy way to find out if the problem behind the ear infections is neurological. Any good pediatric chiropractor utilizes these scans in their office to determine where exactly the problem is. This is literally the same tech that they use on astronauts to see if they're healthy enough for space. But it's completely non-invasive, it's painless, there's no radiation, and best of all, there's no guessing. The scans have a very clear output on the screen, which you can see and we can see, and we'll go over it and explain it to you in detail, but it's a very typical pattern for kids with ear infections. And it looks a little something like this. There's big red bars up top there, that's not good. That means the nerves going to the top part of the neck where the ear, nose, and throat system is are not well regulated. After getting adjusted, it looks a little something like this, nice and clear. This kid is healthy. This little guy, Sammy, these are his scans. When he first came to us at two, he couldn't speak, and his ears had been full of fluid his entire life. Antibiotics, all that stuff didn't help. His parents were considering tube surgery, but came to see us first. Started getting him adjusted, was able to get the fluid draining, and was just told a couple weeks ago that the pediatri pediatrician confirmed there is no fluid, and he passed his hearing test for the first time in his life, and he's already starting to speak. So this kid's whole life got turned around, and is put on a different trajectory simply because we've got the fluid moving in his ears. So wouldn't it be great if that was your kid, if they didn't have to deal with all these things, and they could just have a normally healthy childhood? Well, they can. Uh, the first step is to find a good pediatric chiropractor. Uh, we're located in Batavia, Illinois, uh, but I have had parents from all over the world, as far away as Australia, contact us to see if we could find a good pediatric chiropractor in their area, and I'm happy to do that for you. So if you're not uh, in the Chicago suburbs, please still reach out to us, and I will find somebody good near you. I know all the good ones. So thanks for tuning in. hope this was helpful, and we'll talk to you soon.